Hi, this is Kurt with Traverse Tool Company. Today we're going to talk about the importance of keeping your tailstock in alignment. If your tailstock is not lined up with the headstock, the result is going to be a tapered workpiece. In other words, one, one end is going to be bigger than the other end. We can fix that problem with an alignment bar. The alignment bar we're going to use today is one made by Edge Technologies. To get started, the four things we're going to need to get this done is obviously the alignment bar. We're going to need a dead center that has the right Morse taper on it for the tailstock. A straight shank dead center to put in the chuck. And an indicator with a magnetic base on it. As always, safety first. For this demonstration, the machine is unplugged. I'm not going to bother taking off my ring and watch. Before we use our alignment bar, there's a few things we need to do. First, I'm going to take my Morse taper dead center and secure that in the tailstock. And I have my magnetic base indicator. Get that magnet on the carriage. And I want to eyeball the ball on the end of the indicator needle just to get it pretty close, as close as I can by eye anyway, to the point on the dead center. And that's what's going to tell me I'm in the center of the, of the part, not too high and not too low. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to pull this away. Now I also have a straight shank dead center that I'm going to mount in the chuck. And there's a little problem here. So I'm getting the tail stock, the tail stock in exact alignment with the headstock, but I'm using a chuck which is a couple of thousandths out of center. So first thing I need to do is put our alignment bar on the headstock side, get it close to the tailstock side, and just snug this down a little bit. You don't have to go wild on how tight that is. Snug it up here. Now I'm moving my indicator so I get that needle right on zero. And this machine isn't even plugged in. If it was plugged in, I wouldn't be wearing my watch or my ring but um, I'm not going to turn it on. I don't need to. I'm just spinning it by hand. See how much that needle moves. Okay, I'm going to get it to one extreme. Re-zero the needle. Now get it to the opposite extreme. And it's about one and a half thousandths total indicator run out. Okay, so without moving the indicator, I'm going to turn the chuck to split the difference, which is right in there. I want that, uh, that needle to be right in the middle of the highest and the lowest that it reads. So now I'm not going to move my chuck, and I'm going to move the indicator to get that back on the zero. All right, then I'm going to move the indicator over to this side. I like coming down off these parts that the indicator needle is on nice and slowly and back up on the other side nice and easy too that way I don't jar the indicator okay and that is pretty spot on right there All right, so if this was out of alignment and my zero is off, the way you adjust it is just loosen just a little bit on the tailstock locking clamp. 
just enough so it'll move back and forth a little bit. Then you have a screw, one on each side of the tailstock, that moves it back and forth. So you can see that needle moving a little bit already. So right now I'm taking it out of alignment. All right, that's pretty bad, right? Needle is pretty far away from zero. So now I'm going to bring it back in. Whoops, too far. You can also do this with two, two Allen keys or two hex keys. And that's got it. Now I'm going to check it. So I'm going to tighten back up. Everything I'm doing, I'm still checking the needle, making sure the tailstock is still snug. And all right, it stayed on the zero. I'm going to move back across. Hopefully this will go right back to zero too. And there it is. So now anything that I turn between these centers is going to be straight. As always, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions about it, if there's anything else we can help you with, send us an email, uh, give us a phone call. Better still, if you're in the area, come in for a visit.